free, O bestower of blessings, O forgiver of sins, O repulser of afflictions, O hearer of sounds, O granter of requests, O knower of things secret and hidden, glory be unto thee, thou art without partner or fault, there is no God but thee, mercy, mercy, deliver us from hell fire. O God, O most merciful, O compassionate, O most forgiving, O acceptor of thanks, I beseech thee through the beautiful names thou recountest about thyself and thy elevated attributes and all thy words, that thou forgivest me and my parents and my master Said Nursi and the students of the Rizali Nur and all believing men and women and Muslim men and women, the living from among them and the dead. As we travel through the pages of the Risale e Nur, we witness Bediu Zaman's greatness, and wondering whether other people have recognized it as well, we turn our gaze to the outside world. There we see that since his death in 1960, his works have been translated into more than 40 languages. Hundreds of books have been written about the Risale e Nur. Hundreds of conferences have been held to discuss it and his life, and thousands of articles have been written. Institutions have been founded in the West in the name of this great thinker. We are happy indeed that this lone star has not escaped the notice of the world, and thus we conclude our imaginary journey. As we approach its end, there is something we would like to say to you who have followed it. Bediu Zaman was a luminary, and what you have watched here was an invitation to behold him. But you will find his true luminosity if you travel yourself through the pages of the Risale i Nur. On his tomb are these lines The Supplicant. My demolished grave in which are piled up 79 dead saves with his sins and sorrows. The 80th is a gravestone to the grave. Altogether they weep at Islam's decline. Together with my gravestone and moaning grave of dead saints, I go forward to the field of tomorrow's future. I am certain that the skies of the future and Asia will together surrender to Islam's clean, shining hand, for it promises the prosperity of belief. It affords peace and security to mankind. <laughs>